Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually transform your drill into a drill press by making full use of this drill stand. So I'm going to use this uh, Dongcheng electric impact drill to fulfill that requirement. So I'm going to show you how you can transform this electrical impact drill into a drill press, a tabletop drill press. So this new unit unboxing I will show you what it comes in the box. It comes with uh, the carbon brush and also an auxiliary handle base. And uh, it works best if you have a handle base. Okay. So this uh, drill can fit, this chuck actually can fit up to 16 mm for any drill bit that's around or less than 16 mm. So this is a chuck key and this is a specification. And then uh, this is a drill stand I'm going to show you. So make sure you choose any drill that has a handle base so they can fit there. And it, the handle has to face outwards so that it's balanced. Okay, it will not actually uh, toggle left and right. So it comes with uh, the iron key. So first I'm going to adjust this handle, loosen by loosen this mounting screw. Okay, so roughly gauge how high mm. I need to be and then I tighten the mounting screw. And then I'm going to loosen up the handle base so that it fits my impact drill there. Okay, done. Tighten the screw and there you go. The gap should be somewhere around one and a quarter finger gap. It's about 2.5 cm, one inch. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Okay, you can actually uh, change the limit button or limiting uh, limiting plastic so that it won't drill lower than that. Okay, and then uh, this switch is to switch between uh, drilling or impact. So this drill, you can drill any brick surface, but I don't think it works with any uh, concrete wall. Okay, any bricks wall should be fine. So this uh, switch trigger, it has it comes with a speed control toggle. You rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise to repress it. It, it's, it looks like a pressure sensitive switch. Okay, so you can control the speed when you press. It depends on how hard you press it, and you can actually rotate this knob to control the speed. So it has a lock button as well. So when you press onto this switch and you press this lock button, then this drill will continue to spin. Then you can pull the handle down and it now works as a drill press, tabletop drill press. Of course, you still need a wise down there. If you have a wise, then you can have your object down there to clamp them so that you can actually uh, drill any hole perpendicular to the surface, right? So you can switch the speed by turning clockwise or counterclockwise. If it were to be any plastic material that will melt easily, you want it to drill at low speed. Wood material, probably medium speed. And uh, high speed would be any metal, or any hard material that will not melt so easily or with high melting point, okay? So this is a general guide. You need to test it out, okay, before you master how to use drill press, okay? To uh, deactivate the uh, always on button, you just need to press the uh, trigger, trigger switch once, then it will stop, okay? I hope this video helps you. I appreciate a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel, it's the boy Liu. Thank you.